drinking hot tea while it's 110 degrees outside masochistic? Maybe. Am I gonna do it anyway? You betcha. Tea is about 90% of my personality at this point, so. I was in my space having a think. I don't ever do that. Uh, I was having a think about things I would like to talk about in videos, and lo and behold, somebody asked me a question on Tumblr about that very thing. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Strap in, kids, buckle up. Uh, have fun and be yourself because uh, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do this I have a really hard time connecting what I know with how I feel as in I can know that a certain person or thing Won't suddenly fix my problems or bring lasting happiness yet I still feel like they should and feel this unhappiness slash loneliness. So I pursue it anyway casually extremely relatable Question there friend. I am in constant battle between the things that I know versus the things that I feel. Pretty much come to the, the conclusion that I'm gonna be at odds with those two things for my entire life. Feelings, a lot of the time, are not to be trusted. They're to be felt, they're very real, but they're not to be trusted. My emotional brain, um, is really emotional. I'm a highly emotional person. I know that may be shocking for some of you to hear, but I'm a really emotional person. Sometimes, when I get extremely emotional, um, I start behaving like a person that I don't want to be. When I'm angry, I lash out at people. When I'm lonely, I make self-destructive decisions. And it goes back to that sort of like instant gratification addict brain that is just still freaking in there. Um, that just always wants to feel better right now. My brain has become extremely good at doing things that it needs to do to protect itself from the feelings that I feel. Sometimes it takes that too far, and it creates more problems, and that's not good. Example, right? I know that the people in my life, particularly the people that I work with, care about me. Um, they trust me, they think I do a good job. I know all of those things. What I feel, they all hate me and want to get rid of me at a moment's notice. Those are different things. When I'm feeling that level of paranoia, what I know does not help. <laughs> paranoia is like such an irrational, Emotion. It is something that is just, it's so just latched onto every tiny little detail that it then ratchets up to the highest volume and nothing makes sense. Something I've learned about feelings is that for feelings, things don't have to make sense for them to resonate. I love my feelings. I don't want, I don't want this video to sound like I don't love them because I love my feelings. I love just how much things matter to me you know, when they happen. I, I love how moments affect me. I love how I can completely give myself over to an experience in that moment because of my emotions. But nothing in this world is all good and all bad because sometimes I let myself go completely into a moment and it's bad for me. Sometimes I feel things in response to situations that are just not real whatsoever and based purely on perception. And where, on the one hand, I can fully archive and enjoy and experience a moment, on the other hand, I can be completely paralyzed by it. One of my most used tools in my individual toolbox is, uh, is my self-awareness. I know how I get. I know how it be sometimes, and sometimes it be like that. The hard part is using that knowledge and stopping yourself from creating those bad experiences and those bad behaviors that you don't want. Dear Anonymous Messenger, who sent me this message, um, you're talking about people and relationships too, and oh boy, do I relate to that. I spent three years without a social life in person, um, extremely violently lonely. I made some choices to invest myself in some people and, uh, and I thought it was good for me. I felt it all was about the feeling of it all. And I ignored the things that I knew. I ignored the backdrop of situations. I ignored the behaviors of other people to the point that I just got walked on all over. <laughs> what you know, what you feel, uh, life isn't binary. So you gotta have both. <laughs> if you're just making reasonable, measured, fact-based choices throughout your entire life, you're not gonna take any risks whatsoever, and you're gonna be bored, and you're gonna be lonely. If you make choices only on your feelings constantly throughout your entire life, you're gonna be a mess. You're gonna be an absolute mess of a person. I say that from experience as I've dabbled in both of those things. What I'm attempting in my life right now is to try and find 
a balance between the two. I've done all this work trying to piece together my individual story and to understand why I behave the way I behave and why certain things affect me the way they do. I've done so much work on that. At the same time though, one of my best qualities is the degree to which I feel emotion. It is never a bad thing to care deeply and to feel deeply. I don't want those things to ever be considered bad. And we put those two things together I think you can get a really healthy person. At least it's what I believe. That's what I kind of have to believe because that's what I'm, I'm spending a lot of time and energy doing. I have so many people um, who like message me and send me things. And a lot of time they come from this perspective of belittling their own experience. I have a lot of motors, a lot of feely types who come and uh, and they talk about how their feelings feel like a detriment to them. Your feelings are not a detriment to you. Nothing is all good and nothing is all bad and feelings are incredible. They allow things to matter in our lives. They allow things to, to take us to different places, to different feelings, different worlds, memories, all these things. I think emotions are just, I, I love them. I also hate them. I hate what they can be. I hate what they can do to me. I, and, and I'm allowed to do all of those things. What I wanna kinda leave this video with is, is an attempt to both talk to myself and to others. And that's who you are and how you experience the world is not a bad thing. I think and believe and know that every single human being on this planet has something to offer the world. And, and, and I want to help that. I want to help that process. Yeah, I'm sad a lot of the time. I am lonely a lot of the time. I sometimes really dislike life, but I still believe that. And I hope to continue believing that and I hope that you guys believe that too. That's about it. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I'm very sweaty right now. Very sweaty right now. I would love to hear what you guys have to think in the comments down below. I've been loving reading comments. It just makes me feel very empowered and very supported. You guys are wonderful. If you've missed a bunch of my last videos, I do not know how effective uh, or how much the algorithm likes me right now in this moment. But uh, but if you've missed some of my last videos, there will be a playlist at the end of this uh, on the end screen bits uh, where you can click and watch some of my face if you want to see my face. I don't understand why you'd want to do that. And if you're subscribed on Patreon, uh, be sure to check out the bonus video that has gone up there as well. I'm gonna go. My lower back is drenched because it's over 100 degrees outside and once again drinking hot tea. Masochism at its best. I love you a lot and, and goodbye.